Hello, Virgo. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the first week of May of 2022 relationship reading. For this reading, I've been guided to the Good Tarot deck by Colette Baron Reed, and I'm going to be laying a Celtic spread. So, dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Virgo I am reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, or Rising, Male or Female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Virgo with clearly defined messages regarding the area of relationship in the first half of May of 2022. All right, so we have the Six of Air energy. We have a Virgo here who is contemplating or actually is going to be physically moving into a better direction. In the thoughts position, we have uh, a child here wanting to maybe travel into the direction of a child, maybe a child that has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, traveling into the direction of kind words and messages with the page of water energy. So either you're going to be doing that at the beginning of May or you're thinking about doing so. Now in the foundation of your Celtic spread, we have the king of water energy. Uh, this is someone who maybe is an older water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or you have just grown, Virgo, emotionally to the point where you're emotionally balanced, where you uh, offer uh, love from the bottom of your heart. In the recent past, you had the star card, some form of wishes coming true where you could travel into the direction of someone here whose heart is open. So during the week of the first week of May, we have the seven of earth energy. So I feel like this Virgo, of course, is thinking about money, new directions, new offers, opportunities, communication regarding money. A wish came true in the past and now you're traveling into the direction of a new opportunity and it's making you feel very balanced here emotionally. Now in the actions position, you have the 10 of air energy. There's a realization that uh, some form of difficult journey has come to an end. So take action to celebrate the fact that an opportunity has opened that is moving you into a new direction or has that brings you emotional balance and contentment. Spirit saying, let go of the difficulties of the past and give thanks to the doorways that are opening especially in the area of career and finance. So in the spiritual strength position, spirit is offering up this card of transformation. Again, uh, a long and difficult path has come to an end and now spirit is guiding you into a new direction of abundance here because of your hard work and efforts. In the hopes and fears position, you have the five of water energy. So for some, you may be crying over spilt milk regarding a masculine here whose heart is, he's a very kind and loving person. Maybe you were thinking about communicating with them. That's this wish in the past. And now you're contemplating traveling into the direction of that person, bringing an end to a long and difficult path. Transformation, beginnings and endings. It's like spirits giving you the strength to take all that you've learned and move forward towards new beginnings. So some of you, spirits giving you the strength to let go, to have hope uh, that you can let go of crying over spilled milk, whatever that was about. So for some of you, we do have maybe a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And maybe you're fearing that you can't go into the direction of this person or you're coming to the realization and now you're hoping that you can lay it down. In the outcome position, we have the chariot representing maybe someone who has cancer in their chart, especially with the king of water energy here. Whether that's you or someone else, Spirit is saying we're going to step in with this major arcana and we are going to help for you to travel into a direction of greater success. 
So don't cry over what used to be. It's time with the Ten of Wands energies to bring something to an end and to recognize how far you have come. Beautiful offers have come and led you into the path of success. Uh, if this hasn't happened already, it's going to happen this week. Now, in a three-card summary, we have the Messenger of Earth, the Messenger of Air, and the Ten of Water. Beautiful. So, yeah, someone here was a bit conflicted with the Four of Air energy, and Spirit was saying, take some time out to look at all that you've worked towards and trust in a message that has come, because it was indeed a wish come true. Now, I am getting this in the area of money. Yes. Some form of offer of abundance with the Six of Earth energy is helping for this Virgo to leave a path behind that no longer fulfills you emotionally. Yes, it's almost like something happened and it can happen very quickly here with the Eight of Fire and then Ten of Fire, maybe regarding a fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo, that came to an end, right? It became too heavy of a burden to carry now that could be in the area of career and finance and it's like that path is ending and now you can move into the direction of success yeah i just saw the page of earth communication exciting communication in the area of finance and career <clears throat> go figure virgo we're trying to get you to focus on personal relationships but there's a lot of focus here in the area of money this week so the messenger of air is actually getting to the truth of the situation, communicating a truth here, bringing things to a completion, a successful completion, and moving into the portal of a new beginning. So we have the king of air energy. This could be someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini that could be coming in or already has come in to communicate some form of truth to you. Yes. Uh, so there's temptation here. There is or has been temptation, but thank goodness spirit is giving you the high priestess energy, male or female, to kind of sit and observe this week without taking action until you know exactly what action steps you want to take. Yeah, so there may be passionate communication with the page of fire energy, but with the nine of water energy, it's like this may not grow. So I'm getting be careful what you wish for. There could be a playful communication that comes your way here, but you have transformed. You have grown. You have evolved. Yes, there's an empty offer of love and a fear of stability here in some situation. But Spirit is saying, um, we're bringing you into the direction of a happily ever after. And as you go into the direction of success, you can free yourself from the heartache tied to the past here. Right? The crying over spilt milk. There is a shocking realization with the seven of air energy that someone or something outside of yourself um, brought, to, brought you to a truth. It could be a shocking truth. Okay, and now they're getting back into, now it could be some of you are connecting with another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but I am feeling like someone in a leadership position um, has or is going to give you a lot of kudos for your hard work and effort, and you're going to be traveling into the direction of greener pastures, uh, more success, right? Success and abundance. So a little bit of an imbalance here, contemplating, uh, manifesting something uh, or manipulating something uh, and feeling stuck or trapped in your circumstances. But Spirit saying watch for energies of fantasy and illusion this week. Yeah, wanting to communicate in a situation that's keeping you up all night and Spirit saying maintain those energies of patience. It's time for a spiritual transformation. It's time to give thanks to Spirit for the doorways of money and stability that are coming your way. Uh, to not cry over what used to be, but to trust that it, situation is coming to an end because it was meant to at this time in your life. So I want to just quick confirm and clarify these messages by using the chariot. I'm sorry, what am I saying? A gypsy oracle deck. What are the other person's thoughts, feelings, emotions when it comes to this Virgo during this week? First week of May. Yeah, someone wanted to travel or is wanting to travel into the direction of this lover energy. But yeah, small kind words and messages are what are keeping this Virgo stuck or trapped in their thoughts with the prison card. 
in the foundation someone is hoping that someone's going to kind of throw them a bone open their heart make them an offer in some way maybe they have water in their chart pisces cancer or scorpio because in the past a wish came true involving child a child or children however that may apply so yeah this week we do have someone here hoping that a doorway is going to open in the area of money, marriage, commitment, partnership with the wife card. But in the actions position, spirits helping this Virgo to uh, allow a path to end, especially if you're feeling the room energy Virgo, like you're spending more time alone than you are with this person. For you have transformed or you will feel like you've gone through a very spiritual transformation, some form of uh, change, spiritual change. And now you uh, are going to, okay, there is a transformation that is happening within you in the area of faithfulness. If you're feeling alone, now's the time to put your passionate energy into what it is that you like doing. See? We've got the fortune card. So spirit saying, thanks spirit for all that fortune you have in your life. Uh, the roof over your mouth, the food that you eat, the family and friends that you have. And don't cry over what used to be. Yeah. Because some of you are just going to go ahead and travel into the direction of someone in hopes that there will be success. Now spirit saying financial success is waiting for you and is available to you this week. Um, but if you do travel into the direction of a water sign or someone who has cancer in their chart uh, you could definitely cause yourself energies of despair so this is about faithfulness someone wants to serve a reunion here but something has ended there's hope someone's hoping for a situation an ending regarding a younger woman stubbornness and frustration walking in their ego and there's the butterfly it's time for a spiritual change it's time to heal it's time to find contentment day to day and give thanks to spirit for the gifts of fortune that spirit is continuing to bring your way financial look at that on the bottom of the deck nine of earth financial abundance uh, is coming towards you is continuing to come towards you so give thanks for that this week all right so should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey or would like your own personal energy read feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email which is josiek42 at gmail.com i offer four one half hour video readings and they are a one month three month six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video i am still offering the spring special which is a 15 minute video reading for just 25 dollars if you'd like to give that a try so thank you so very much for your likes your shares and those subscribes thank you so very much as well to those of you who come to me for month to month readings and who follow up those readings with those beautiful emails letting me know exactly how these messages help to guide you into the highest path of peace joy and happiness thank you to those of you who have been gifting readings to others um, yeah and for your donations take care and god bless